up guys we are back arc age march update information is out and live now we got the patch notes on the official forums they're linked down below so you can read full patch notes we're going to take a look at the changes as what's happening here in the march update there are two big things so we have the refined tier 3 luna gems for wave and fire stuff so they are very similar to the tier 2 version you need three of the lucid wave Luna gems, so they're insanely expensive because these guys are several hundred gold. You also still need sapphire and rubies, which, granted, these things are going to be insanely expensive. But when you're at end game content like that, and the tier seven obsidian has not come out yet, people are socketing up, pushing their gear scores higher. Uh, this is going to be something that helps push their gear score higher, socketing that seventh and eighth slot on their gear. So they're going to be crafting these. People are going to be buying them. I am personally a handicrafter. I have been selling the tier 2 refined Lunar Gems. And they actually do sell not in mass quantities. But you're able to sell a couple here and there. And there is a decent profit margin on them. Meaning, so if it takes us handicrafters, uh, you know, 1,500 gold to craft these Lucid tier 3 Lunar Gems. We're probably going to be able to sell them for around... Uh, 2,000 gold, and we'll probably sell one or two a day. Um, you know, not all of them are going to sell, but in average, we'll probably end up selling one or two a day and have a decent profit margin because there is a huge barrier to entry, which is great for profit. Handicrafters now require 130,000 proficiency to create the tier three refined lunar gems. The only thing that I see skyrocketing in value. Um, is potentially the ruby and the sapphire. So before it take one ruby in the first tier, then three ruby in the second tier, and now in the third tier, it's taking eight rubies. The rubies are a very rare material out of the mining, uh, the fortunas, and the mining drills. These guys just don't come out enough, and the prices are already fluctuating pretty high on the actual servers. If you take a look at the history of the ruby and sapphire, you can see tons of fluctuation there. That's because when someone buys a whole bunch of them to craft the refined lunar gems, they dramatically impact the system. Um, once the system kind of levels out, I think we're going to see that steady increase. Currently, both of these on Morpheus server are right around one gold each. I think we're going to see these guys upwards to around four gold each in the near future. So that's the big thing that I think potentially has a great chance to go up in value is the ruby and the sapphire. The other aspect of this update is the synthesis stones, which are for the costumes. So to increase your costume up, you can go all the way up to, I believe it's uh, epic status in this. So yeah, so it's all the way up to epic status in this patch, which is great. It's going to allow you to reroll your costume stats a lot. In order to get the Synthium Stones, you have to craft them up. So um, I mistakenly spoke before when the Synthesis Stones and System and Shards was coming out that the basic Synthesis Stone would not be valuable at all. Well, that's completely wrong. When this patch hits, I think we're going to see a dramatic shift in value on all the synthesis stones because the main way of getting them is crafting up in the alchemy proficiency here. So you can see crafting up, it's not that hard to craft up. You need one vivid synthium stone, 10 blue salt hammers, one of these guys, which is brand new, and it actually comes out of the guild shop uh, for prestige points. I want to say it is uh, 20 prestige points. I may be wrong. Check the patch notes down below. It's either 20 or 40 prestige points. And the the crazy thing, though, is once you get past, I believe, heroic status, you need, like, 16 of these. And then you need, like, 20 of these. Then you need 24 of these. And then, like, epic, you need, like, 30 of these guys. So you need to craft a whole bunch of these guys. The other method that you could get them actually is you can buy them in the marketplace as well for uh well that it looks like they haven't updated the marketplace here. You can buy them, they said for loyalty tokens and they're supposedly going to cost 40 loyalty tokens. So almost a little bit double the value, but as you can see to craft them, it doesn't really cost cost that much to actually craft them from the vivid synthium stones. So you'd be trading essentially 15 loyalty tokens for 10 gold, uh, you know, 20 or 40 prestige points, and then another 10 to 20 gold right there. So you'd essentially be trading 
15 loyalty tokens for around 50 gold in value. And I don't really see that being a worthwhile trade. I think you're going to want to craft them up. I think this is going to be a lot more efficient to, uh, you know, to do. So again, as you can see, you craft all the way down from the basic Synthium Stone. So when the patch hits, right before the patch actually, you should see a nice increase in value. So once the video goes live, you're definitely going to see an increase in value. People are going to take my advice on grabbing them. But there's probably already people that have been doing this in stockpiling Synthium Stones for when this update happens. Because you're going to need a whole shitload of them. You're going to need hundreds of Synthium Stones. And the cool thing is that you're going to be able to reroll new stats. Uh, you know, you're going to get four stats on your costume now, and you're going to be able to reroll, I believe, up to seven times if you're starting all the way from the basic stats. So there's a lot of chance of customization now and changing your uh, your rolls on your stats. And then we're also going to be getting a item that will allow us to reroll in future events. Uh, that's going to be coming out sometime. I believe they said this month. Uh, fingers crossed on that. So those are the two big things. So. Investment ideas are Synthium Stone, Synthium Shards, and then also the Ruby and the Sapphire. Those things, I think, have a great potential to go up in value. And then finally, there's also one more big thing. The last big thing that Trine Worlds announced recently was a reward for good standing accounts. So this is a small, small reward. Uh, it's three reward token coins, which allow you to buy the RNG boxes that are on Mirage Isle. And this is for any account that's been logged in the, within the last 30 days and that has been created over 60 days ago that has not had any negative claims on them, any bad stuff, no chat bans in-game, you haven't been suspended or you haven't had any display or any action on your account. So for the most part, this is going to be a free reward for most players in-game. Uh, sadly, anyone that has you know spam chat or thrown out derogatory uh, language in chat, you're not eligible. If you've been mistakenly banned or mistakenly, uh, you know, got a suspension or anything like that you can appeal but i really don't see the reason to appeal that because this is your three reward coins these are three rng boxes you don't really get much out of the rng boxes but they are there and i do feel like i should let you guys know about that so check on your trying worlds accounts uh make sure you go in you log in you click apply click the character that you want and yeah, enjoy the three reward coins. On that token, I wish that Tryon Worlds would actually have done a lot more for the good standing accounts. Um, you know, currently, all the people that have glitched and done hacks and crazy mods and things like that, uh, they've gotten away with it for, you know, well over a year for the most part. And for the good standing accounts, only getting three reward coins is a really shitty uh, kind of like reward for being a upstanding citizen in arc age so i mean they could have given out 10 or 15 reward coins even that would have been a small gesture um but just you know something bigger and better than this for showing your appreciation for players that have not cheated have not glitched have not hacked have not done anything bad in arc age uh is a good step it's a nice step in the right direction but it should be a lot more